In this video, we'll use science to speculate on what life on the exoplanet K218b might actually look like. In 2023, astronomers detected something strange in this planet's atmosphere. A molecule called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is produced almost entirely by living organisms, particularly by algae in the oceans. So this discovery triggered an intense debate on whether life might actually exist on K218b. The findings have been disputed, but let's assume that the findings are correct. This leads us to the next question that not many people have asked. What would life on K218b or a similar planet actually look like? That's what we'll explore in this episode. The conditions on K218b are completely different from Earth, and this has a profound consequence on how life might evolve there. Life could thrive on many parts of this planet, but we'll focus on the skies, because this is where some of the most extraordinary adaptions and ecosystems could emerge. K218b orbits a red dwarf star about 124 light years from Earth. It's nearly three times the size of Earth and over eight times as massive. Its gravity is estimated to be 10 to 30% stronger than Earth's. This allowed it to hold on to a thicker, hydrogen-rich atmosphere compared to Earth. And this has profound implications for the possibility of life. And we will examine this shortly. Beneath the dense atmosphere, K218b is likely a water world, a planet with a deep global ocean spanning its entire surface. Based on the discovery of DMS and the fact that this is an unstable molecule produced by algae on Earth, this has led to K218b being hailed as one of the best candidates for life discovered this far. But if life truly exists on K218b, what could it look like? Let's leap far into the future. Humanity is now a star-faring civilization, exploring the galaxy and cataloging life in a vast living archive called Cynopedia. And from its pages, we bring you an entry on K218b. Sky lilies are the plants and trees of K218b, but they are vastly different from anything on Earth. They aren't just plants, they are entire ecosystems hosting a wide range of species, from symbiotic cleaners to parasitic grazers. Each sky lily is a massive gasful organism that floats in the thick atmosphere. Some can reach up to 50 meters in diameter, and their buoyancy is maintained by internal sacs filled with hydrogen gas. The atmosphere here is so dense that it behaves almost like a fluid, allowing even large organisms to remain suspended. Beneath the sky lily trail long sensitive tendrils, which capture drifting plankton and absorb airborne nutrients. The surface is covered in pigments tuned to absorb the faint red light of its host star. Not green chlorophyll like Earth, but something more like bacteriodopsin. This is a molecule used by some Earth microbes to harvest energy in low light. This gives the sky lilies a deep purple hue, perfectly adapted for photosynthesis in a planet orbiting a red dwarf. On the vast surfaces live creatures. Some are helpful, others are harmful. Let's meet the next organisms from our archive. These are the lily slugs, soft body cleaners that crawl across the sky lily skin, consuming parasitic microbes, fungal mats, and spore colonies. Each slug species specializes in a different type of infestation. Together, they help protect and maintain the sky lily's health. But the life that tends to the sky lily is more diverse still. Here is the lily pecker, a small finger-sized creature with a curved beak that plucks mites and parasitic animals from the lily's surface and folds. They live in small groups, nesting in protected hollows along the underside of the lily. These hollows are part of the sky lily itself, evolved specifically for this type of symbiotic relationship. Lily peckers will occasionally leave to join other colonies spreading genetic diversity by mating across different lilies. But not all creatures in the sky are so benevolent. Gliding between sky lilies in small flocks is the sky grazer. Roughly the size of a hawk, it is light and aerodynamic and evolved for quick landings and rapid escapes. It grips the lily with clawed feet and begins to feed by chewing through outer tissue with hardened mouth plates. Even though it's a herbivore, the sky grazer plays an important role for the sky lily. By consuming older, less efficient tissue, it stimulates the growth of new photosynthetic surfaces. 
Its frequent movement between lilies also helps spread beneficial organisms, making it both a grazer and an inadvertent pollinator. But being eaten can still be a threat to the sky lily, and some species have evolved defenses. In certain sky lily species, when the sky grazer bites into the lily's surface, it triggers internal bladders to rupture, and a cloud of pressure-released gas and glowing microorganisms explodes into the face of the sky grazer. These bioluminescent microorganisms, much like some algae on Earth, use light as a defense. The sudden flash disorients and shocks the sky grazer. The glowing microbes clings to its wings and face, forcing it to flee the lily. Now marked and glowing, it becomes a vulnerable target for other predators in the sky. But bioluminescence isn't the only defense sky lilies have evolved. Hidden beneath the surface of some sky lily species lies a silent killer, the tendril lurker. Its flat body remains motionless for hours, even days. They have 12 to 16 tendrils, and each of them are over a meter long. They are sensitive to pressure, chemical changes, and vibration. They are much like an alligator waiting in a swamp. It detects the grazer's feeding movements above, and then strikes. The tendrils shoot upward, and they wrap around the grazer's limbs and wings, constricting the grazer. The lurker then pulls its prey down towards a circular mouth lined with grinding plates and consumes the sky grazer over either days or weeks. If you found this exploration of life in K2-18B interesting, then check out my other video on three hypothetical life forms that could exist in Jupiter's clouds. They are weird, wild and based on real science. And you can watch it by clicking the link on the screen right now. Let me know in the comments what other alien worlds it would be interesting for us to explore. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos on what life in other worlds could look like.